Hi everyone, my name is Mitch Silverstein and I'm a founding partner of SBLR LLP Chartered Accountants. We are the accounting firm for entrepreneurs and our focus is to provide advice to our clients to save every possible dollar of personal and corporate tax that we can while protecting their assets and helping them plan for their exit strategy from their business. So today we're going to go through three or four very, very critical areas of tax planning, remuneration strategy planning, things that a lot of business owners, because they're so busy fighting the fires in their business every day, that sometimes they don't get a chance to take a look at. And, and unfortunately, sometimes by the end of the year, it's too late. So stick with us. We're going we're to do a case study approach, and hopefully some of those items are going to resonate with you in terms of your business. And, uh, and if you have any questions as we go through, please don't hesitate to pop your hand up, and we'll deal with them as we go. Let's face it, nobody likes to pay tax. On the other hand, if you're not paying any tax, you're probably not earning any income. So we like to focus on helping our clients who are earning income pay as little tax as possible, legitimately pay the least amount of tax possible. If the company is not deducting the salary expense, obviously she doesn't have a salary anymore, so at least we'll get back the 9350 in tax that was withheld at payroll source that went to the government, right? Wrong. Wrong. That's double taxation. You don't get this money back, and you pay this money. This is a bad outcome. It's a bad outcome. And this is happening a lot. I can't tell you over the last two years. This started Revenue Canada two years ago, give or take. I can't tell you how many people that have been in here that we have identified this as an issue, or they've already been, they're already under the microscope. It's a big problem. And demonstrating reasonability of salary is very, very difficult. So here's where we can help. We like to help our clients look at their situation and determine how we can potentially multiply their $500,000 small business deduction, multiply their $750,000 capital gains exemption when they sell the shares of their company, potentially access thousands of dollars of government tax credits that are available in the marketplace, and even split income legitimately with family members who are at lower tax brackets. Effective tax planning simply can't be done once a year and certainly can't be done after the year end is finished. Our belief is that we have to be proactively communicating with our clients throughout the year. We simply have to know how their business is doing every quarter because sometimes business is up and sometimes business is down. And either way, there's certainly tax planning and advice that we can provide in any of those situations. So it's important to have a relationship with your professional service provider where communication is ongoing and the communication is proactive. That's where we live, that's where we like to play, and that's how we deal with our clients. At the end of the day, a successful relationship between our firm and a client is where we've helped them save thousands and sometimes even hundreds of thousands of dollars of tax. We've helped them protect their assets, and we've helped them plan for an effective exit from their business. If you'd like to take a few minutes, grab a cup of coffee and have a chat about how some of these strategies might be able to help you, your company, and your family members please don't hesitate to give us a show. We'd be more than happy to get together with you.